Tati, they've all come to you. <laughs> I'm sure half of them follow you on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, you guys. I have not even brushed my hair. Legit look at me in the morning. I did make my bed. I'm feeling like A plus about that. We have a big adventure that we are going on today. I'm taking you with me. I need some coffee, a shower, makeup, and then we're gonna bounce out and drive kind of far to a farm. I don't know. I thought it would be cool to document it. So let's get the day going. She's come to life. Okay, step one, step one. A little oola under the eyes because wow, we stayed up late watching We Crashed on Apple TV. Highly recommend, really into it, about the whole we work situation. In a moment of weakness, I had ice cream, we had burger and fries, which I never do a bun with burger, but we had rise and they were so good and you guys know that my body responds to being dominantly carnivore the best and it's just like such a joke that the next day i can always look in the mirror and be like oh wow we are like retaining a lot of water here so sugar and carbohydrates but it was so good it was so good so we're just gonna do some makeup and hope for the best. I'm going in with a little magic serum from Charlotte Tilbury. I have like 30 minutes to do everything. Might sound like a lot, but I wanted to kind of recurl my hair and do my makeup and do the things. So I'm just gonna fast forward this and we're gonna dive on into the makeup. I will list things in the description box that were used. in a rush, slows down to do a nice little morning facial massage. <laughs> chaos, chaos, chaos. I don't have time for this, but whatever, we're doing it. I just need it. They're not paying me a dime, but this thing,
Cheers to the day. We're gonna go to a farm all dolled up. Why not? This is two days of filming. Someone is gonna be washing brushes tonight. Yes, sometimes I use random things as a palette. I really need to get on line and order the Scott Barnes glass palette again so that I stop doing this. I'm wearing James's socks. Let's hop to it. Good morning, Pookie. Are you sunning? Hi. Eggs before going to get eggs. Why do we have just a random power tool out? I was putting something together last night. I know that people are gonna be like, what is that? <laughs> to make French fries. This is our, our super impressive French fry cutter. So incredible. Um, I'll put it in my Amazon shop. <laughs> Do you recommend though? I love it. You love it? Yeah, I tried a few, this is the best. It was like $79. It's very sturdy. All right, let's eat. I think I'm gonna put my new stabilizer in my Amazon store as well. This thing is so cool. I feel like I just leveled up and maybe I can actually vlog now. I still gotta figure this out. It has like facial tracking, but I feel like this is so much more flattering and somehow the quality of my camera just excelled. This is very nice. Okay, I gotta go eat. We're already late. <laughs> it's so nice though. Like how smooth, right? It's so smooth. Okay. We are on our way. The dog is freaking out. He needs some CBD. He needs some anti-anxiety. We're like two minutes into the trip. <laughs> He's already sign. freaking Turn out. Left on the All right, we're off. It's gonna be so good. I'm so genuinely excited. Are you excited, James? Yes. I'm so excited. I'm excited. You're excited. We are excited. Bucky's. We're getting gas. I need to use the bathroom. It is a quick stretch your legs, kind of a pit stop. And then the journey continues to go and visit this farm, which uh, is where we get our eggs from. Like there's the big egg shortage we all know. And this literally is our favorite. Like we love this farm and it happened to be not too far away from our home. So we thought, why not go and visit? We love listening to music and driving. So it's no big thing. Pook, you want to say hi? Hey, baby. Oh, he's got some static. Let's talk about it. <laughs> in such a big way, well, finally. They have no idea what's happening, so I'll give you the B footage. Oh wait, something just happened? <laughs> Hold on. Did you, you turn on your phone and like the whole thing just like moved. That's weird. Okay. I didn't touch a thing. Okay, wait. Let's get this back this way. This way, please. I'm an organized woman, so like this is the trash that I literally, it's a it's an old Sephora bag. Like I don't have 5,000 actual makeup bags, but what do I do when I'm in a hurry? I'm like, let's just, I might wanna touch up my makeup. I'm just gonna cool her off right now. There are people standing right next to our car. Diva. Bucky's is like the most popular place. This is insanity. Are you stressed out right now? No. I'm stressed out for you. I'm good. I just think it'd be polite if these people would let this person leave the parking spot. Right, which kind of means like it might be that way for us getting out. I love Texas, but there's a lot of selfish driving that happens here. People like, they, they they just like park it in the fast lane, mm -hmm. not even doing the speed limit. 
and they're not polite letting people leave parking spaces. Other than that, these are like the most polite people ever. I love everything about Texas, except everyone's driving. Agreed, I gotta pee. I will be back. So thirsty. You were so thirsty. Spontaneous giveaway. If anyone can guess correctly how many laps of water Puka just had, you'll win a really nice prize. Leave your answer in the comments below. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. You drink good water. By the way, Texas tip from me to you. Make extra coffee, put it in a mason jar. It's much better than Starbucks, because it's just the way you like it. What is Tati doing? Dude, something got on my shoes so nasty. What's on your shoes? I have no freaking... Oh my goodness. What got on there? What is that? It's black. Did you kick some cow dung? No, I literally didn't do anything. I'm talking to them about road coffee. Road coffee. Yeah, bringing extra coffee in a mason jar. Such a good idea. It was wild in there, you guys. It is a sea of people. You feel like you're at Disneyland. In and out, doing her business and out of there. The line to buy anything was incredibly long. Okay, we're on the road again. We're on the road again. We're on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Playing music with my friends. I can't wait to get on the road again. do you have? Uh, we're at about 23,000 right now. Oh my gosh. Tati, they've all come to you. <laughs> This reminds me of that time in Thailand when all of the elephants came to you. I'm sure half of them follow you on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> they probably recognize you. Thank you for the eggs. <laughs> We're big fans. <laughs> I don't know why this is so satisfying, but it just really is. Chickens could technically jump the fence if they wanted to. These are just a few like adventure spirits. 
carrots and the grass is literally greener on the other side. You yeah. want to hold one? Yes. <laughs> Coincidentally, this one's name is Taki. So you just want to make sure to keep her wings down so they don't flap you in the face. But otherwise, she's totally fine. Hi, baby. <laughs> hey. This is so awesome. You're an adventurer. I love it. <laughs> so GMO is not good enough. It's got to be organic, non-GMO. Or organic is by definition is not GMO. Okay. If, you, if, if something is USDA certified organic, it is non-GMO. Okay. But it is also free of chemical herbicides, chemical insecticides, animal byproducts, pharmaceuticals, and hormones. Products labeled just GMO free without the USDA certified organic label allow the use of all those things. In my opinion, consumers assume that that also means it doesn't contain any of those chemicals when it is absolutely allowed. Okay. Yeah. The more you know. And so, so you might even you might even have allergies to those chemical residues. Yeah. Much uh, glyphosates are awful. Yeah. And so most people that have a gluten allergy don't actually have a gluten allergy. They have a problem with glyphosate. Yes. Amen. Thank you for the education. Yeah. <laughs> I fell asleep in the car. I feel a little disoriented, but thank you for driving. Yes. I kind of knocked out a little bit and did the whole, like, James would ask me questions. I'm like, uh-huh, sure. I actually had no idea you were asleep. Yeah, so <laughs> I feel like, oh, I want to finish my vlog and show you guys the bounty that we took home with us. Woo, look at those eggs. 15 dozen, are you kidding me? How These long are, do you think it'll take us to go through? Three weeks. Three weeks. These are Jeremiah Cunningham's world's best eggs. They're organic, they're pasture raised, they're soy free, and I endorse them. They are the world's best eggs. That's why we drove 200 miles to Do you know what that reminds me of? You know what? the scene in Elf where he's like, you did it, you did it. <laughs> the world's best cup of coffee <laughs> but these really are the world's best eggs and i want to make a statement about the soy free because i got so many messages the last time i talked about these eggs it's a soy free diet it's not that we need eggs don't have soy in them they're not like partially like soy I, other I, eggs don't have soy in them it's the feed it's the feed so these yeah. these these hens were not fed a diet of soy it's a healthy yes. diet. Yes, and I love that they're happy hens. And like, I got to hold one roaming out in the wild. I could have stayed there all day long. I, I got to hold a chicken for the first time. Best day. So, all right. we also have raw milk. Controversial. And we got some fresh cream. Yep. Raw cream, but. I, th I might get canceled for this. Woo. Dude, what? you know what though? My dad was raised on raw milk, milked cows, did the whole thing in Canada. And you've done the raw milk thing before, so have I. Um, cheers. First time I've had raw milk in like 20 years. All right, let go microbiome. Good, so good. Cheers. That tastes quite different. Yeah. Like so creamy. Yeah. And no weird aftertaste either. Yeah. What else do we have? Okay, we got... Farm Fresh Butter. Yep. We do have some bone broth, great source of collagen. You want the real deal. Yes, I have my boxed bone broth, but if you can get Farm Fresh anything, 
go for it. For one, support your local farmers. They work so hard, they deserve it. Two, it is honestly more climate friendly. I'm gonna go ahead and say it because if you're purchasing local instead of flying things in from halfway and across the world it and trucking and all of that, this is more eco-friendly. Just know where you're purchasing from. We got to actually go and see the animals, which is really cool uh, and how healthy and happy they are. And yeah, what else was I gonna say? Just, it, I'm amazed. I'm so excited for all of this. And thank you guys for hanging out with us today. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, thumbs it up. Let me know you're into these and I can do more. And I will see you guys in my next video.